Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This ASUS laptop, it's uh, the model, it's an S46 C series uh, laptop. Uh, I made a video how to upgrade the hard drive and the, to SSD drive. Uh, check those videos on my video description. And in this video we're gonna cover up the upgrading the RAM and the maximum RAM capacity that you can install or replace them if you wish. In this one comes with a 4 gig DDR, I believe DDR3 RAM. You can change them down to 16 gig if you wish. So you can put an 8 gig and 8 gig. And it's really simple, easy to do. It does require a little bit of more work to do. And you will see why it's kind of annoying, but we can't say no to it. All right, first thing first, you want to power up the laptop. The tools that you're gonna need is a screwdriver set. As always in these videos, I always use an iFixit screwdriver set, as is one of my favorites. They have an S2 class bits, that means they're really tough in the screws. Uh, we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro version, which will include you an opening tools and tweezers and many other things. But if you're like me, you're cheap, you can't get that one, you can get yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable for opening covers, cases, laptops that are really tough to bend. Soft edges makes it really hard for the to get a scratch. All right, you see, it looks like I scrapped it, it just goes away. Anyway, once you have the laptop upside down, you want to remove the battery first by pulling this trigger to the unlock position and release the other one to the other one and just. Hold it and pull back. You're gonna remove the service cover and you think it's a service cover, right? So let's go ahead and remove it. See why I'll call this half service cover, not full service cover. So remove the two screws, slide it towards the front a little bit and then lift it up. Once you remove the service cover, you will see the surprise. There's your RAM dim. You might have an occupied RAM right here or you might have it empty. So you can add a RAM here. The other RAM dim, I do not know why. They couldn't just leave a little more space here if push the case up so you can remove the RAM easily or upgrade. Because that's, a, I believe, a 4 gig. So if I want to put an 8 gig in there, I have to remove the case. But I guess this is how I'm trying to tell you to work for it. So we have the RAM dim right here. I'm not gonna show you how to install it first. I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the other one. To get to the other one, uh, first we're gonna remove the hard drive on the left side. So remove the three screws that hold the caddy, one on each side. And this one is not missing. It's holding it from the top cover, the cover that we removed. Slide the hard drive back and lift it up. Put it to one side. Now we're gonna remove all the screws and even the screw in here, 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 here. We're gonna remove all the one in the middle. And there's two under the battery. Go ahead and remove them. Keep them in two different piles. So I'll keep that one in there. I believe the DVD drive screw is the longest one, but that I'll just remember. The two in the corner here and the two corners on the other side, these are the shorter screws. So I'll keep the hinge, I'll call them the hinge screws, the shorter screw on one pile. Now we're going to remove the two screws for the under the battery. So the battery covers this one. All right, once we remove these two screws, now we need to remove the DVD drive just by sliding it towards the one side, bring it and put it here. Now we're going to put your hand right in here under the video and we're just going to lift it up and just, you might have to work a little bit. If it's not coming up, if it's too tight, grab the opening tool, stick it between the top and the bottom cover here. Just find it and just work it around and you will release those clips. And once you loosen up, just bring it up, open it up, front side up by the RAM, bring it up. Uh, there's a cable right here for the speakers. You do not need to remove it. Just leave it like that. Just 
have a support on the back so it doesn't go all the way down. And now you have access to the RAM right here. These are DDR3 RAM. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is put your fingers beside the RAM but on these triggers and pull them to one side. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. You just grab it in the same direction and pull it out in the same direction. Again, you can get a 8 gig RAM. Just make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim. So bring it in 45 degree angle. You don't want to bring it straight down in 45. It's like landing a plane right inside the jack, all the way through the jack, and simply push it towards the motherboard, and you should hear two clicks, just like that. Let's say if you have another one, I don't know where is my other RAM. I have one more over there, but I'm not upgrading actually. Grab the next RAM, make sure the notch is facing the notch, and push it towards the jack. Sometimes it's a little bit harder, you have to push, and towards the motherboard. Okay, and that's it. This one, it took a little bit of more pushing. Just grab it and just pinch it like that, and it will go through, and then push it towards the motherboard. And let's put this one here. A little note, side note, that you might want to write down, or remember, once you put the, let's say you upgrade an 8 gig here, 8 gig here, and you turn on, it might take 5 to 10 seconds before the BIOS detects the RAM, but if you don't remove this one and you add an 8 gig here, you turn on and it might not detect. Don't panic, power off and switch the places for the RAMs and it will work. And if that doesn't work, then remove both of the RAM, place the new RAM on the dim right closer to the CPU, power on. Once you get the Windows logo or the Asus, Acer, whatever brand is in the Asus logo, then you want to shut it down and then place the other RAM there power it on and it will detect. This is something do with a BIOS that not always detects at the first, so you have to switch around, swipe the places, but it would eventually work. But right, once you did that upgrade, now you can simply bring the case down, push it straight on top, and once you did that, put the DVD drive right in place, and put the short screws by the hinges first, so I just push the case on top straight and put the DVD drive and put the two corner screws, the short ones in first. And two on that side and two on this side. I'm going to put the long screw for the DVD drive in the middle. Yours might not even be a long one. Sometimes I see the fa in the factory they just put a wrong screw sometimes. It does happen. I've been doing this for a long time. I've seen different weird this stuff here so not always they use the same type of screws they always depending where you manufacture it what country all right now that we put this one we're going to grab the hard drive we're going to slide it in place make sure the connector goes all the way through and put the screws for the hard drive And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover and bring it over, slide it down, and put the last two screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your Asus laptop. If it did, you know what to do. Click the like button and think about subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.